spewing molten lava and searing hot gas into the sky, a volcanic eruption is Mother Nature at its most explosive. But while they're often spectacular, they can also be deadly. In December last year, New Zealand's White Island volcano, Fakari, unexpectedly erupted, killing 21 people. To those who have lost or are missing family and friends, we share in your grief and sorrow and we are devastated. Fakari is one of 12 active volcanoes in New Zealand. The country sits right on the Ring of Fire, the area around the Pacific Ocean, where most of the world's volcanoes can be found. You see, volcanoes often occur at the edge of tectonic plates, the jigsaw-like pieces that make up the Earth's crust. At these points, molten rock called magma can make its way towards the surface. Sometimes it oozes out as lava, and sometimes it causes a build-up of pressure, which can result in... Yeah, bang. These sort of explosive eruptions are the most dangerous, and over the years they've done a lot of damage in different places around the world. It's why for a long time scientists have been working on ways to predict eruptions. While that's not easy, there are some clues they can look for, like earthquakes, build-up of gases, or even a change in the volcano's shape. That info goes into the Volcano Alert system, which lets people know what the risk of eruption is. The trouble is, updating this alert level can take a bit of time. The problem with that system is that it does rely on people getting together and talking about data and deciding on things. You know, you can't be doing that every 10 minutes. You know, it generally happens every few weeks to a month. And so it doesn't respond quickly enough if you only have very short-term warning signs. This is not very hard. Dr. David Dempsey is a computer engineer who's been working to create a better volcano warning system by analysing the underground rumbles of Fakari. So what we did is we looked at nine years of seismic data from Fakari. Uh, so that is essentially little vibrations on the ground that we're picking up with these sensitive instruments. They then fed all of this data to a computer and looked for patterns before each of Fakari's last five eruptions. Before nearly each one, there was a four-hour burst of seismic energy. Look at that. They say it was caused by gases building up like a pressure cooker as the volcano got ready to blow. The data helped them build a computer model which paints a real-time picture of what's going on underneath Fakari. So if there are the telltale signs of an upcoming eruption, people have time to get to safety. They say by observing other volcanoes around the world, other scientists could create similar systems to warn people of future eruptions, which would be great news for the millions of people who live in the shadows of these fiery forces of nature.